Sanders Health is a healthcare brands company operating in plant, animal and human health. The group came to the JSC in November 2013 and is controlled by the Coast to Coast Investment Company. Market cap 4.4 billion rand, PE of 25.32 and after maiden dividend now it has a yield of around 1%. So Ascendus is an interesting story. Byron, your thoughts from the top. Yeah, I think this company is a result of a sector where there are a lot of opportunities. Mm. Obviously, the coast-to-coast -coast, uh, private equity group um, have gone around and, and bought a lot of businesses in quite a segregated industry and put it under one um, umbrella uh, and using their listing as an opportunity to possibly raise more funds and, and make more acquisitions. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but also very focused on, on the consumer side, um, you know, Evervescence, uh, uh, the supplements, um, you, you know, and, and people are very health conscious these days. You know, it's it's um, I everyone's aware. Um, everyone wants to be on top of things, health and, and fit, um, and um, and also quite a nice diversified portfolio. You know, the plant stuff and uh, the pets, animal side of hmm. things as well. Good high margin business. Yeah, they, they've uh, they've gone after some some fairly well known brands in terms of consolidating those. I think if you go into Discam, they sort of looking to own at least sort of two entire rows now which maybe weren't around 10 years ago so that 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 supplements nutraceuticals i mean those are those are massive categories for these uh, these these pharmaceutical companies and i think uh, will continue to grow so quite a good eye on the opportunity there and I think yes they're using the platform they've made a number of acquisitions from other private equity groups as well well so also quite strong in medical devices uh, so so uh, putting together quite a, a, a solid looking group and, and I guess quite excited the market's quite excited I think a bit less institutional support a bit more sort of individual stockholder support but a good base to grow. Carsten Wellner also as CEO being very visible and engaging regularly with media and investors alike. Yes, exactly. And he's done a good job. And obviously, he's going to be involved in the operations of the business. You know, he's going to make sure that everything's done properly. Um, you know, all the synergies are realized uh, with regards to logistics and, and everything with all the businesses. And then you have the coast to coast guys who will look, go around looking for the deals. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, the, a nice spike there in 2014. I think the market just getting used to the listing and what to expect from this business. Um, but I think it's it's an exciting business model. Like I was saying, you know, we, we're seeing a business like Curo doing something similar where they're going to be growing fast through acquisition. EOH has done a, a similar thing. And I think that in the healthcare space, there certainly are lots of opportunities. So if you back these guys to carry on making um, solid acquisitions as well as growing organically, um, then we should see a, a, a nice big mid cap coming through. Hot or not on Ascenders? Yeah, let's go with hot. <laughs> Byron, hot or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm also hot. And I think, um, you know, obviously, the next company we're talking about is Beige. It also shows you that there's quite a, a lack of opportunities to get involved in the sector within the market. So, uh, uh, Ascendus will certainly be the go-to uh, within the uh, South African context.